In this video we're going to derive the equation that we use in order to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. So if we had a matrix A and if we were to multiply it by its inverse, A times A inverse is going to give us the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. Now we want to find a, a method of finding this inverse A from the matrix A. So if we were to call this matrix the terms in it A, B, C and D, in order to get the inverse of this matrix here, what we do is we multiply by the determinant. Now the determinant is going to be AD minus BC and we swap over these diagonals here so that becomes D, that becomes A and then these diagonals here become a negative, so that's negative B and negative C. Okay, so this here should be the inverse, the equation that we use, or the process we use in order to find the inverse of this matrix here. So that's the little proof that we want to work through. Now, it's just a lot of bulk algebra. What we can do is we can say, let's call the matrix A, again we'll call it A, B, C, and D, and let's call the matrix A inverse, let's call that E, F, G, and H. So if we multiply these together, and this is the inverse of that, then we should get a identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. So now all we have to do is go ahead and equate all of the, the terms together. So if we were to multiply these together using matrix multiplication, we would have A times E plus B times G would equal our value of 1. Okay, so um, we could just call that um, equation equation 2, because we'll call that one 1, okay. This made 1 here, we'll call equation 1. So that's equation 2. And then you could say that our A times F, AF plus BH equals 0. We'll call that 3. And CE, CE plus DG is going to equal 0 equation 4 and we can, the last one CF CF plus DH DH C, that's a CF plus DH yeah, that equals 1 and we can call that equation equation 5 now Here's just the bulk algebra, so we'll just crack on, just get this done, and you'll see how it all comes from. So, from 2 and 4, we can say that we have AE plus BG equals 1, and we can say that CE plus the DG is going to equal 0. Okay, so that can be rearranged and we can for G, so we can say that G equals 1 minus AE all upon B. And from this one here we can say that uh, G equals minus CE upon D. Okay, now we can say that this one here must equal that one there, so we can say that 1 minus AE upon B must equal minus CE upon D. Okay, so then we can say that 1 upon B minus AE upon B must equal minus CE E upon D. So then we can then say that minus C E upon D plus A E 
upon b equals 1 upon b. And then we can say that, and this is just bulk algebra, minus c e b plus a e d upon d b equals uh, 1 upon b. So we take out a common factor of the e, so we can say e times a d minus b c all upon db equals 1 upon b. So then we can say, finally, that e must equal d upon ad minus bc. Okay, so that's one, one of them done. Now we have to just get through that same process for the other three okay so we'll just uh let's see another well one yeah for the other three so let's just crack on we can do that now so from three and five so from this one here and this one here we can write down the equation af plus bh equals 0 and we can say cf plus dh equals 1 ok so that we can then equate that for h we can then say h equals minus af upon b and you can say also that h equals 1 minus cf all upon d okay so it's all upon d there all upon d so then we can make this side here equal that side there so you can say that minus af upon b equals 1 minus cf all upon d so you can say minus af upon b equals 1 upon d minus cf upon d so you can say then that cf upon d minus af upon b equals 1 upon d so then you can say bcf minus d a f all upon d b equals 1 upon d so we take out common factor of f so we have f b c minus a d all upon d b equals 1 upon d so we can say then that f equals b, f equals b upon bc minus ad. Okay, so that, that's, a, that's a value for f. Okay, now I'm not going to go through the other two. So the other two are, are, are similar. So again, you could just use, um, you can use 2 and 4. Okay, in order to find uh, the value um, for G, and you can use 3 and 5, 3 here and 5, in order to find the value for H. So, but we've already done two of them, so we've got um, E and we've got F. So let's just write out. The other two so the other two whenever you do the derivation for the other two you're going to get um, g equals c upon bc minus ad okay and then finally you're going to get a value for h 
where h is going to equal a upon ad minus bc. Okay, so that's the four equations there that you've got. So you've got the values there for the E, F, G, and H, okay? The values, values of these E, F, G, H in terms of A, B, C, D that will give us this identity matrix. So we'll just write that down and we we'll end up with the values D upon A, D minus B, C, okay? So that's just the one that we just we just proved D upon A, D minus B, C, okay? So we put that in for E and we've got B upon BC minus AD and we've got C upon BC minus AD and we've got A upon AD minus BC okay so those are the four values now what we can do is we can take out, if you notice, those are AD minus BC, AD minus BC. Okay, so we can take this AD minus BC out. So it's going to be 1 upon AD minus BC. So when we take that out, we're going to be left with, here we're going to be left with D. Okay, here we're going to be left with A. Now, up here, we're going to be left with, well, it's not, um, this is BC minus AD, so it's the negative of AD minus BC. So we're going to be left with minus B, and the same through here, we're going to end up with a minus C. Okay, so that there is the final equation, which we said was going to be the way that we found out the inverse of our matrix. So that there is the same as we had suggested at the beginning up here okay so that's a little proof just a little bulk algebra maybe if you if you read through the first one first couple here you should be able to go and derive the last couple here yourself and uh, that's how you find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix okay thank you bye bye